Hello. Today, we're going to talk about the ServiceNow integration with Digital.ai release. So in Digital AI release, we have a plugin that allows us to talk to ServiceNow. And with that plugin, you can interact with ServiceNow and create changes and all sorts of tickets and so forth in ServiceNow. But we also have this integration for uh, ServiceNow that allows us to interact with create releases and so forth in Digital AI release. And what that also allows us to do, have bi-directional communication between the two. So I'm going to show you how that actually works and we'll, by, by way of an example here. So let's go ahead and create a new release in digital AI release. So we're going to call this demo release, okay? Demo release. And I can uh, create this thing here. So we'll actually submit this request. Now, nothing's happened yet because I, I haven't actually started the, the release, but I can... I can um, Go in here and say, we can say, well, what's the service we're going to do here? We're going to say all, and I can assign it, give it an assignment group, for example, and we'll say application development. And then I have this tab here where I can actually say, well, which which release do I want to choose from digital AI release? Because it actually can go to digital AI release and get a list of all the templates. So let's say this demo here. Now we notice here in digital AI release that there's actually three uh, fields that are picked up from digital AI release there are things that it's going to want to know when it starts this release. So a couple of things to note here, I can put any text I like in here, but if I use this dollar sign notation, it'll actually pick up fields from uh, ServiceNow and send them over to digital AI release. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll update this release. And if we go over here, we'll see that, yep, there's our releases started over here in digital AI release. So um, ServiceNow has actually started this release and Digital AI release went back and said, hey, I need uh, authorization to go ahead with this release process. So over here in Digital AI release, we can see now it's in the assess stage here and I can go ahead and, and like make some uh, approvals. We'll go through the approval process in, in Digital AI in, in ServiceNow. Add another one. Okay, now that I have it approved in ServiceNow, it actually completed the gate that it had over here that was assigned to ServiceNow, and it starts through the process. Now I'm actually uh, waiting for a deployment window in ServiceNow. So when what that means is over here in, in ServiceNow, when I go to implement, it'll actually clear this gate over here in Digital AI release. So let's click on the implementation thing. And so now, our change is now going is in the implement phase and uh, releases doing the actual implementation. And as soon as it's done, it, it marks that release, the change request is being done and it actually moves it into the review state. So you can see over here in ServiceNow, we're in review and in digital AI release, we have this gate where we're waiting to, uh, to complete this. And as soon as I complete it, it will complete, it will close the release in ServiceNow. So let's go ahead and click on that. And it closes the release here in Digital AI release. And you can see that it's actually also closed over in ServiceNow. So that's uh, Digital AI release and ServiceNow talking back and forth in a bi-directional way. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this short demo of Digital.AI release and ServiceNow integration. <music>